Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me here today. I am joined by a, a special guest who's been on the podcast a couple of times. We have the uh, the founder and CEO of Include Health, uh, Ryan Eater. Did I say, is it Eater or is it Eder? How, how do you pronounce Eater. your... Eater, you're right. Perfect. See, Nailed this it. is why you don't second guess yourself on the test. First answer is right. Move on. <laughs> Move on. Nailed it. Well, I'm really excited to, uh, to have you back again. Uh, quickly moving up the ranks to most guest uh, slots on uh, on a lot go. of our shows. Uh, I guess you, you can say we like what you're doing, um, which we do. Appreciate that. Let's talk a little bit about this 11 million raise you had. Super exciting. Congrats to you and the team. Uh, talk you. us more about how this came to be and uh, who's involved. Yeah, sure. Um, so, you know, this round was led by Cincy Tech. It's one of our earliest investors and um, has kind of worked with us through the years developing this platform. Um, other participants, Tamron Hill, uh, based in Columbus, Ohio. And then uh, we've had a mix of institutional investors, funds, and individuals all contributing to this. Uh, really, you know, the focus here is to further scale out the company enabling hybrid care, right? You know, we, we are we are big believers in this blend of on-site and remote care from your uh, local providers. And that's uh, gaining a lot of headwinds or tailwinds. And so we're really excited. And where, you know, now that this, this round is done, where do you see the, like you'll be investing these, these proceeds to like, what's the core focus sure. now that this big accomplishment is, is hit? Yeah, I mean, overall, it's we have our existing customers and partners that are looking to scale this throughout their networks. And so first and foremost, we want to support them. Uh, we're also seeing more and more providers looking to deliver hybrid care. So expanding accounts, expanding the team to support that. So across the board, whether that's business development, clinical operations, customer support. And then, I mean, we're tech nerds at heart, right? And so uh, it's just continuing to build out the platform. Really what we have right now MSKOS is that's out its foundation. There's so much more we can do with it. So we wanted to build this base layer, get it up and running, but uh, we're really looking to expand it. And um, both from a data capturing standpoint, accessibility standpoint, and just capabilities to, to just make again, that seamless blend of onsite and remote care. And what's, what's next for you and the team? I know you just kind of where you want to head into, what are you really excited about heading into 2023 and beyond? I mean, we're excited about multiple use cases in hybrid care. Um, remote therapeutic monitoring just got going last year, and it took a while for industry to figure out what it was, how to do it, what, how to make it work. Uh, this year, it's a lot more folks are looking to implement it. And um, bigger picture, the industry really views RTM as a stepping stone. And so, you know, that's giving the industry tools to be able to deliver hybrid care, and then that equips them to be able to get involved more in uh, value-based care arrangements. Um, so we're involved in a, a multitude of those right now. So it's exciting to see those models coming to fruition. And then, you know, it's also exciting where it, it enables, you know, direct access and self-pay initiatives to where, you know, there's even financial barriers in accessing physical therapy. And so, you know, really seeing kind of those horizons of what these providers are looking to do and being a part of that's extremely exciting. Well, I'm excited to continue to follow your progress on the team and and hopefully we can have you come back on again, maybe on a panel. We can dive into some additional topics, but really wanted to Love highlight to. this big accomplishment for you. Congrats. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.